So today we're working on our footer for a section of the wall that was busted out. We have cement, we have a rented mixer, of course have gravel and sand, and over here we've been putting in rebar. So we had to take out this area, we have a formwork, and we've been creating our corner. This one's still a work in progress, but you can see we drilled holes and we're going to epoxy in there so that we're tying the old wall in with what's going to be the new wall. Over here, we've already wire tied this corner together. You can see wire ties. And again, we're not quite done with this one, but over here on the old section, we've also drilled so that we'll be tying that in. So all the old will be tied in with the new by the time we're done. To get our heights for this formwork, because we're creating a level line here, we've subtracted the two courses that we want and we hooked it up with a water level that I just made. I went and grabbed some, some hose and um, you know, the $7 worth of hose and some food coloring. And now, as you can see, water always seeks its own level. So it's always leveling with the reservoir that I have. So I can just take this hose over to whichever end I need. And that's the high corner over there. So I've been measuring everything off of it. Now yesterday, I did where the basement was. We had this basement area. You can kind of see the outline of the concrete. We had taken out the bulkhead. And so right here I filled in and again I have rebar going along the bottom so this bottom section here is actually a bond beam so I have rebar going through into the old block on that side and also into the old block on that side and I had chiseled out so that we're using full-size blocks and we filled it with concrete and basically we uh, we filled it with concrete, vibrated it down, and we have rebar coming up through. Now, yeah, we'll have a coal joint here, but the nice part is that because we kept it a little bit low, when we fill the next one with concrete, it'll span that joint. So uh, everything is going to tie together real nice, plus we have all the rebar going up through, and we'll just take the next course and set it over the top of the rebar and drop it down. Uh, we have height differences, but I was lining this one up with the high point over in that corner so that we have less block to cut when we need to level everything. And that's what we're also doing with this new formwork. So it'll be level with the high point of the foundation as well. So we epoxied them in over there. We also epoxied in everything here because this was capped with concrete. Now we're not epoxying the rest in because they're open cores so we can put the rebar and concrete directly into the open cores. But over here, it was already existing concrete so we had to epoxy it. Here we're mixing our own concrete. We have gravel, sand, we got uh, five sacks of cement. So our footer is poured at this point. It's screeded off. Tom is cutting some more rebar because we have a little bit more mortar and we still have the use of this guy today. So we're gonna fill some of these cores with some rebar and concrete while we have the machine and stuff to do it. 